Hi, I'm Paris, and it's hard to believe it was 85 degrees here in Austin yesterday afternoon, and it's maybe 45 degrees out right now with more cold wind blowing in. This is pretty much how every living thing in Austin feels today. I've been wearing a sweat jacket all day, but my feet are freezing, so I decided to research the best portable heater, little heater, not too expensive, that you can put down under your desk when you're at work, or you can have it blowing some warm air at your feet when you're sitting out on the living room sofa. Something that's easy to take with you room to room, something that also has the safety features where it will shut itself off before overheating should it get accidentally tipped over. Now if you're in the market for something like that too, I've got one of the highest rated, best value small portable heaters right here. There were three of them left in Austin this morning, now there's only two. Let's hurry and get this review going to see how well this performs and so this little bird and I can thaw out. Epic review, guys. This is the Honeywell Uber Heat. It's a relatively new model in the portable heater space. It goes for about $35, so it doesn't have all the features you'll find on some fancy heaters, but it has all the features that are important to me. Find out more about it at the link down below this video. I picked up my Uber Heat over at Target. In fact, it wasn't even an Austin Target. I had to go to the next town outside of Austin. I see they sell this on Amazon, but um, they're getting back orders on lots of the popular heaters right now. So, so if you don't want to wait till they come back in stock, you might want to get an order in soon. Here's the Uber Heat heater. This plastic portion surrounding it on the sides is a cool touch plastic, but you won't want to be putting your hand in the front. In the back, there's air intake. The fan inside blows the air over the heated ceramic elements out the front to warm you up. There are only two switches on the top. The power switch which is off, low and high. Low uses 900 watts of power and high is 1500 watts of power. And there is a thermostat, though there are no number readings. You basically get it to the temperature you like, turn it so the element turns off, and then it will keep the room at about that temperature if it can. On the back, there's a little stand that you pull back, and then when you set it down, this piece on the bottom will be depressed, and it will activate if this tips over whichever direction, and that pops out, it turns it off. There is overheat protection where it will shut itself off if it's overheating, as well as that tip over protection. And the cord is about a good six feet long. This room is about 10 feet by 11 feet with one fairly large window. In theory, this should be able to heat this room up to into the 80s. It's about 68 in the house. The thermometer is showing 70 here right now. Time to warm things up. Let's put this on low. I'm sure you can hear the fan. Yeah, it's already warm. That's nice. For as much noise as it makes, I'd expect more airflow, but I guess if it blows it through too fast, it wouldn't really have a chance to warm up. That's toasty. Let's see what high looks and sounds like. Didn't change the fan speed at all, but it should have activated additional heating elements and is pulling quite a bit of electricity from the wall. The view out the window now is wavy because the heat's going up and distorting it. So there's a good amount of heat. Oh yeah, there's heat coming up here too. It's not blasting the heat out though. This will take 20, 30 minutes, I think, to significantly raise the temperature of the room. But that's not really what I want it for. Not so much a small room heater as just to keep my feet warm. The plastic is staying cool, and I'm sure that's toasty. I'm not gonna test that out. If it gets tipped over, that little piece should pop out and shut it off. I can test it by just picking it up. Yep. Comes right back on, so I don't have to reset the button. Okay. And other than the sound of it running, there's a little red light here at the bottom that indicates that it's on. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Room feels much warmer. To my surprise, the thermometer only shows it being 73 degrees in here. So it's good to know that this will, over time, heat up a small room. But really, it's for my feet. So I'm going to set it up and see how it does keeping my feet warm. There's no handle built into the top for carrying this. But right behind the power switch, there is a little place that you can put your fingers in to carry it. I've got it set on low setting and the thermostat about halfway up, pointing at my feet down below the table here and toasty. It's not only the heat there, but since it rises, it comes right up and warms me up here as well. 
I think after about 30 seconds of having this heater blowing on your feet, you'll actually start to be able to feel them again. And then over time, it will heat up the whole room. And actually, it's almost warm enough here that I can take off this jacket. Thermostat now showing 75. My bird friend's fur stole is not removable at the store. I saw these and just loved this look. I went through all the different birds that they had and I found the one that looked the absolute coldest. Now all that's left is to find a way to keep my hands warm when I'm working on my desktop computer with the keyboard and mouse, like when I'm editing this video. This is too much to have up on the table pointed at me, but I've seen a personal heater that looks very interesting, and I'll be reviewing that soon. My leg's actually getting pretty toasty where the warm air is blowing right on it, so I need to drop the thermostat temperature. Would be handy if I had a remote control and could do it remotely, but that's a feature that just comes on the more expensive portable heaters. But that's not a must-have feature for me. The tip-over protection and the overheating protection, those safety features, those I wouldn't feel safe using it if it didn't have those. So if you'd like to be able to set your central heating temperature lower and not heat the whole house if you're going to spend most of the day in one room or if you're at work and you just got to get those frozen toes heated up, this is a great option for about $35. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. It's getting warm in here. 77 degrees now. I'll be back with more fall and winter products. See you on the next review.